Team Yaya wrapped up second place in the VO65 class and Mirpuri Foundation Racing Team retired from leg one, leaving the podium open to the Austrian-Italian crew. As Paul Mailhat's Biotherm in fourth place and Benjamin Dutrua's Guyot Enthronement Team Europe in fifth place completed the Amoka rankings overnight. The Dutch team Yayo earned a strong second place finish in the Ocean Race VO65 sprint, behind Poland's Wind Whisper Racing Team, who had finished earlier on Saturday with an impressive VO65 class victory. Dutch skipper Jelma van Beek led his team across the finishing line for a leg time of 6 days 4 hours 52 minutes 52 seconds. We struggled a little bit in the first part of the race, we couldn't keep up with the others, but when we came out of Gibraltar we were getting better and better, sail changes were better, we sailing sharper, Van Beek said. We can always find a little bit more speed, get a little quicker, but we are happy with a second place finish. It's really nice to be here in Cape Verde. With the top two positions decided, it appeared Merpuri Foundation Racing Team would claim third position. But as the team approached Mindelo, it announced it would retire from leg one after having missed a mark of the race course back in the Gibraltar Strait. Observant fans of the race tracker will recall the Merpuri Foundation racing team boat traced a course to the south of and into an exclusion zone, which was also designated as a mark of the race course. By not correcting the error, the team would not have scored points for its efforts in stage one of the race and elected to retire from the leg before finishing. A statement from the team read, Technical issues on board resulted in us failing to leave the South Gibraltar exclusion zone to port as per the racing instructions. As we have missed a mark of the course the team has made the decision to retire from leg one of the Ocean Race, VO65 Sprint 2023. We are very disappointed for this, admitted skipper Antonio Fonts. But the crew has done an amazing job getting us out of the Mediterranean in very hard conditions. Then we had the super fast sailing conditions in the Atlantic, and it was a lot of fun racing from Gibraltar to here. The retirement opened the door to a podium finish for Austrian Ocean Racing powered by Team Genoa, who were the last team enter the Ocean Race VO65 sprint, and only arrived in the start port of Alicante days before the beginning of the event. The fourth VO65 to finish was the Lithuanian flagged Ambersail 2, arriving on Sunday morning. That leaves Viva Mexico as the only team still racing. Skipper Eric Brockman and his team is still 600 miles away from Cape Verde after stopping in the Spanish port of Almeria to make changes to their mainsail. With the podium positions decided overnight Friday night team Holson PRB, 11th hour racing team, Team Malaysia Paul Mailhat's Biotherm team has been racing to collect one extra point over Guyot Enthronement Team Europe. On Saturday night, the team crossed the finishing line at 23 hours 47 minutes and 40 seconds to secure fourth place. Wow! It was amazing, said Mailhat. That was the first time we had all of the crew on board. I tried to take care of the people first and the boat second and we were successful, we are here with no big damage, and all of us safe and happy and ready to race again. This left Ben Dutrua's French-German team to finish the course in fifth place. Unfortunately we ended up having less wind with our option near the African coast, and we needed to jibe out before the left shift arrived. We knew that we played some risk there, but it hit us very hard, wrote Robert Stanjek on board Guide Enthronement Team Europe as the team was flying on foils during the final run to Cape Verde. So we had to regroup and define what we want to achieve in the last two days of leg one. We shifted our focus on practicing and getting things ready for leg two. At the moment we are flying with 24 knots downwind in a pleasant sea towards the finish. Can't wait to get a cold beer. At 2.20 local time early on Sunday morning, he would get his wish, with Guide Environment Team Europe across the finish line to complete the Amoka results for leg one. There is no in-port race in Cape Verde. As a short stopover, teams are highly restricted in how they can operate, with all work on board to be completed by the sailing team. 
The start of Leg 2 to Cape Town is scheduled for Wednesday, the 25th of January, at 1710 local time. Leg 1 rankings at 1200 UTC, the 22nd of January 2023. Imoka. 1. Team Holson PRB, winner Leg 1, finished 5 days 11 hours 01 minute 59 seconds. 2. 11th hour racing team, finished 5 days 13 hours 50 minutes 45 seconds. 3. Team Malaysia, finished 5 days 16 hours 35 minutes 21 seconds. 4. Biotherm, finished 6 days 8 hours 47 minutes. 5. Guide Environment Team Europe, finished 6 days 12 hours 20 minutes 37 seconds. V065. 1. Wind Whisper Racing, finished, 5 days 16 hours 35 minutes 21 seconds. 2. Team Yayo, finished, 6 days 4 hours 52 minutes 52 seconds. 3. Austrian Ocean Racing Team Genoa, finished, 6 days 19 hours 13 minutes 54 seconds. 4. Ambersail 2, finished, 6 days 21 hours 49 minutes 4 seconds. 5. Viva Mexico, 690.7 miles to leader. 6. Merpuri Foundation Racing Team retired from leg. Was a bit because you know we, we will finish by night inside islands we don't know very well so I don't know if it's stressed or if it's uh, focused it's very easy when you're so close to the finish line to start to, to think at the at the first beer important to stay focused to keep the speed and to keep the other boat behind us we are 12 12 miles far from the finish line. The last few miles are, are always uh, long because uh, you want to, to celebrate and to, to have a good moment and you, you can't, you, you have to stay focused until the line. I'm excited but a little bit nerve-wracking finish. <laughs> middle of the night so it's pitch black. Yeah, tension is quite high. It's not long now. Race committee, race committee for uh, for the team. Yes, we are two miles from the finish line. Thank you. Standing by, we have you inside. Oh, bravo, les gars, les filles. Abby. Well done. Merci. Allez, bien joué. C'est la première. Way to start the race, it's on the seven legs, so the first one's gone well. Obviously, a yeah, welcome like this makes it feel good, but uh, no, it's been a great race. We're happy with how we did, and um, looking forward to the next one. But not, not, not going to get too excited yet because it's only the beginning. We're here to win the ocean race, not leg one. <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. Merci beaucoup. Du coup, qui est-ce qui clean le bateau là I'm happy to see them, very happy. They always come in early in the morning though, that's, that's their signature move. <laughs> Team Malaysia, they hold the flag. Welcome to Cape Verde.
doing here? Yeah. I did. It's insane for that. We yeah. expected that, yeah. Yeah, the beginning no one was laughing and the, the fun barometer I think was on zero but uh, this is quite often like that with sailing, you're just, uh, you're just getting through it and you know that it's going to be better some later time. <laughs> Uh, but it was really tough at the beginning. So about the boat firstly, really impressed actually. You know, we managed to catch up with these front couple of guys after they managed to take a bit of a lead of us in Gibraltar. So that's really promising for the next few legs. I think um, we were all really excited to see that on the boat. You know, we were just flying along and it felt super nice, super easy to get going. And uh, yeah, really happy about that. The rankings, you know, third is, uh, you know, it's a good consistent start. I think it's, um, there's, there's things to work on. We can still be, I think we can work our way up to number one at some point. The first leg of the ocean race was uh, was super good, very positive. We worked amazing together as a team. Hola. Hey. Hola. Uh, my feelings about the boat are in between love and hate because it was really tough at the beginning, so it was more hate at the beginning. But when it's hard, then it becomes easier when the conditions are better. So I was just like riding downwind afterwards so I was just enjoying a lot so it, it became love and it's always better to finish with love. So a good start into this new adventure and, and yeah we really found some fun in the last uh, 48 hours sailing downwind and finding the speed. Nice energies on board and I think uh, it was a great beginning. Super ambiance avec l'équipage, it's agréable to navigate with people all the time smile. I think the adventure that is going to come now is going to be uh, intense and beautiful.